Now, before I start this review, I want to show you guys something for you Magic Girl fans out there. I actually got this, um, this Iroha figurine at the Queen City Convention, you know. It was sitting there, it was for 75 bucks, and the one online is actually, on some places, like over $100, so I'm like, yo, I'm getting like, bucks off of this thing, you know, over $30 off of this beautiful figurine. It also comes with a baby, baby cube, but the thing doesn't know how to stand. <laughs> Like, I think it needs to stand more than she does, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it was a nice price. I have yet to get myself a Yuki Yuna one, or a Good Mommy, or a Yuna Sayaka. I'm not sure which one I want next. I'll have to think about it. Can't get any right now, because I'm kind of dried out of the cash. Or spending cash, that is. Now, on with review. <sighs> A lot happened this episode. A lot happened. And it, and it usually happens when you're towards the season finale of certain shows. A lot is happening. Everyone is doing their own thing. And then at the very end, everyone comes together. They're fighting the boss. And they think you win. Then something bad happens. And then... Blank. Climax. Got to wait until next season to come out. Lucky for us, we don't have to wait that long. So I'm guessing since this... Season is eight episodes. I'm guessing the next season probably will be four. If they're dividing it up into twelve episodes, they're um I mean dividing it up. That's gonna be breaking up four or twelve or thirteen. So it'll probably be five or four episodes. Ep season three will be. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, things are definitely falling apart right now. And I love how the false hope was going into everything. How every time you felt like a hopeful situation happening, despair was right around the corner. And remember, the girls, the magic girls never really got their salvation until Monica made that wish one day that turned her into a magical girl god. So, we're going to have to wait. Who knows? I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that is this really going to end? in a good way. You know, stuff that happened with Kuroe, where she was doing that speech where maybe she can change too. Maybe she can save someone. And all of a sudden, a ghost of her past showed up saying, did you forget about me? You couldn't save me and stuff. So, past is haunting her. On the other hand, the Fuyu ghost came to encourage her to do something. She went off to go Cyrano, which is, ugh, to save Cyrano, but that backfired. She clearly can do anything. Um, Nebu and Telco are just too powerful despite how young they look. They're actually pretty smart geniuses. And Nebu's out ideas. Then you have the thing with Uraha and Kyoko showing up together where um, Kyoko is helping her out. You know, where Kyoko is usually the type of person who doesn't want to team up unless it's beneficiary. But deep down inside, she wants to um, team up and help people out. She's just have a hard time doing that because of her philosophy of her past. The reason why she doesn't want to do it all the time. Then you even have Yachio joining up with Madoka and friends. Yeah, that's right. Monica shows up in in Hormura and Sayaka, which of course I have my worries that they would overshadow the main characters to the series. But fortunately, my doubts have been laid to rest. So everyone's doing their own thing, and some are not succeeding all the way. But sooner at one point, most of the teams meet up. Pretty much, Iroha and Yashio's team meets up. Well, Mufuyu gets completely destroyed. It's almost as if her own sp spirit of the past led her to her own demise. Now, at the end goal, they saw Mommy and they saw Cyrano. And the thing about this that's interesting is how they're not in their double forms per se, because they're not wearing the mask, which is interesting, so maybe, just maybe that these two are the only two who have successfully passed the experimental phase of whatever Nemu and Tokyo were playing, because you know the other magical girls, when they turn to doppels, use their doppel power, they wear that mask, 
And then again, you could say um, Kurone didn't do it either. So, I mean, she also passed the test as well. But you know, they're using those Doppler powers after all. They like, give themselves a little boost. But they seem to be somewhat in control now. And it's causing them to be still act differently. So I'm not completely sure. I'm just throwing theories out here. You know, I'm always throwing theories when it comes to the Magical Girl series. Because they're never that forefront when it comes to the things they're trying to say. And that's pretty much the episode, you know. Everything's in Desiree. Some people are winning. Some people are losing. Some are regrouping, treating, doing where they can. That's how close the season finale you're going to get. Now... When it comes to Lost Progress Night, which I talked about in last episode, oh yeah, um, Elena, Elena, I think her name is, is the, the artist girl, which I feel like she's gonna have her own plan because she's like I knew it. She's one of those you could, I guess you could say secondary protagonists where they want things to go their own way. They have their own flow. Where you have the main villain, then you have the secondary villain. They have their own plans, their own um, set of goals. It's kind of like Megatron and Starscream or the composer and Sho Minamoto and stuff. There's, there's always that second person that has a different alternative motive. She frees me through you, by the way, and walks off saying how she doesn't want to hang around with dolls. Now, back to what I was saying. What part is not? They really can't defeat what progress not. Is like I said, Modica and them, even mommy and all of them, weren't as strong as most of the girls in Kamihara City who were really strong. And they were able to defeat it, even if they were themselves were destroyed in the process through the infinite time leaps that Harmon's been going through. How come the girls in Carmel City can't handle what progress is done? A lot of them are strong. They just team up again and fight. They even have that artificial witch that they can use. A lot of things they can use to defeat what progress is not. So I don't know what's really going on. I'm kind of confused. Maybe what progress not got stronger as each time zone went on. That could be it too. So we'll have to wait and see. So anyways, all this was because of Walter Purgis not. I mean, my hormone keeps traveling back in time. If she didn't keep doing this thing, or she can't find a way for them not to meet Mommy, because that's her entire goal. But we know some things are just fated to happen. <laughs> so anyways, like I got your video. A lot of things are coming to a close for the next season. I believe it's fall. The next season's gonna be it's gonna be fall, or is it gonna be no no? If you winter, no, it's gonna be winter or fall. I can't recall, but I'll let you guys know when I find out on the next video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been background on anime. Signing out.